FCT chapter of the National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools, NAPS, has called for the intervention of the FCT minister regarding a 5% rise in operating levies. Here's the report. Chairperson of the National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools, NAPS FCT, Chief Mrs. Rukayat Agbola, on the occasion of the unveiling of her compendium, bemoaned the troubling issues of 5% charge recently being considered for imposition on the gross income of private school owners by the Department of Quality Assurance, DQA. Chief Agbola noted that letters have been written to the FCT minister, Barristan Yeson Wike and DQA underscoring the effects of the intended increase on parents' income and by extension, the number of out-of-school children in the FCT. On the troubling issue of 5% charge, recently being considered for imposition on our gross income, being the school fees paid by students of or people of the private schools, by the Department of Quality Assurance, DQA, we have taken a series of steps to address this challenge. The steps taken include the letters with DQA, as well as our Honorable and Amiable Minister of uh, FCT, Chief Inyesongwike, seeking his intervention. In the letters, we made it known to the Minister that any increase in the operating charges or levies on the private school at this moment will only lead to increase of school fees burden on parents and by extension cause drastic increase in the number of out of school children in FCT and the country at large. Honorable Minister of Education, represented by Director, Basic Education Department, Dr. Mrs. Folake Olatunji David, reassured NAPS of the Ministry's support for an enabling business environment. I'm sure there's always room for uh, deliberation between them and the government because the government is not in place to make things difficult for private providers, non-state actors. We welcome them. They are very good uh, stakeholders. We appreciate what they're doing in providing inclusive, quality education for all Nigerian children. So we don't want to make the environment hostile for them. Highlighting the importance of the compendium towards making the FCT private schools a safe heaven for teaching and learning. Chairperson, compendium, engineer Adam Chinobi, Chichi Orioha, said it buttresses NAP's commitment to support government in breaching the gap in the standard of education and curbing incidences of bullying. One thing I've realized is that parents like to connect, parents like to connect with the owners of the school, or at least the founders of the school, for schools who are God knows how many years old, you know, because you're sending your child to that school, you need somewhere that you trust that will take care of your child and imbibe the standards that your child needs to survive in life. It's not an easy decision I can imagine for parents to make and that is why we try our very best to meet the standards um, expected of us. So the primary motive of establishing a, prim of a, a, a private school will be for um, generating income. But the service they are rendering is far, far more than generating income. It is taking off the responsibility of the government. As I said initially, it is the responsibility of government to provide education for the children. And if, the, if private schools are not there, then we're going to have a large number of out-of-school children because government cannot do it alone. FCT, particularly, is doing everything possible. Every child of school is rather than everything get access to free and compulsory education. On this note, private schools are also complementing on the children. Because one of the fundamental is that the uh, nation is on account of the education level. And therefore, what uh, they are today, they are complementing the efforts of government. Now, the national president, Asha Samira Jibri, lauded the initiative as she noted that posthumous credit must be given to late Mr. Benga Mekwegbe who was the progenitor of the companion. To this end, his wife and son received a posthumous award to honor his memory and contributions. High points of the events 
where good meal messages from stakeholders in the education sector, cultural performances from students from different schools in the FCT, the unveiling of the compendium of Abuja private schools and presentations of award. From the FCT, Beto O'Brien, ADBN News.